Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to enter chapter 5, Network in Graph Theory. The mathematicians that involve is Leonhard Euler. He was born in Switzerland and he is the one that developed a mathematical structure called graph. Okay. First, we have to know the relationship between network and graph. A graph is interpreted as a series of dots which are either linked or not linked to one another by lines. Each dot is known in vertex and the line joining two vertices is known as edge. A network is part of a graph with vertices and edge having their own characteristics. In network, the vertex is called node and the edge is called link. But the one that we learn here is called vertex and also edge. Okay, here are some of the examples of graphs that involves network. First one you can see here is the social networks and then followed by transportation networks. This is the mass domestic flight routes and then the last one here is the computer network. In this network in graph theory, it's very important for us to know what does the letter and also the symbol represent. First, we look at the letter G is representing graph. V is vertex or dot. If you look at the diagram over here, A, B and C is the vertex or dot. E is the edge or line or arc, so that's the one in blue color. And D representing degree, whereby this is the sigma sign to represent the sum. A graph is denoted by a set of ordered pair G is equal to VE, where V is a set of dot or vertices. So from the graph that we have just now, we can label, we can set the set of V as A, B and C in curly braces like this. And then E is the set of edges or line linking each pair of vertices. So E will be the pair of vertices. First one that we can set over here is AB and then AC and BC. These are the three pairs of vertices. Okay, And then the last one is D. That is the number of edges that connect two vertices. And then the sum of degree of a graph is twice the number of ages. So the number of ages that we have over here is 1, 2, 3. Therefore, the sum of degree is 2 times 3. So we will have the answer of 6. Or besides that, you also can find out the ages by finding the degree one by one. First, for example, A over here, we denote it as the degree of vertex A. Degree of vertex A is equal to 2 because we have 1, 2. And then degree of vertex B, we have 1, 2, also 2. And then degree of vertex C, we have 1, 2. So altogether, we have 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 6 here. Okay, next we look at the first example. Based on the simple graph given, determine the V. So V that we have from the diagram given is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just list down. And then N is to represent the number of V, meaning that the number of elements in set V here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Altogether is 5 elements. E here is to represent the ages. So same thing, we have to follow the alphabet, C, uh, not alphabet, the numbering sequence. Okay, the first one is 1, 2. 1, 4, 1, 5, then we have 2, 3, 2, 4, and 3, 4. So we list it down like this. Okay, the number of E will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or you can count from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, last one is the sum of degree. Sum of the degree is twice the ages. So 6 times 2, it is 12. Okay, next we look at example 2. Here, this is the diagram that shows the multiple ages graph with the loop. The multiple ages is over here, whereby it is more than 1. And then this is a loop here. Okay, now we have to determine the V and also the number of V. V, we start from the lower slate alphabet, so it is P, Q, R, S, T, U. Okay, and then the number of V will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, for the ages, same thing, we have to start from the lowest alphabet, 
okay we calculate this is one pq and then we have pu this will be another pu okay after that we have qr and then qu after that we have rt and then rs followed by ss and then st tu okay so we have list down all of this pu and pu over here it is referring to the multiple ages and then you can see the ss here is referring to the loop okay the degree of a vertex with the loop in an directed graph is two okay which means one in clockwise and also the other one in anti-clockwise direction okay see we are going to look at the sum of degree sum of degree is twice the ages so ages the number we haven't found yet it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all together we have ten ages therefore the sum of degree will be twenty okay Next, we are going to learn on how to draw a simple graph based on the given information. So we are given the vertex as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and also the edges like this. Okay, we are going to start with a dot, label it as A and then we have A, B. So start with, uh, start. continue with another dot, okay, and then join it up using a line. Then we have A, G, so I'm going to put another G and then join it up. After that, continue with B, C. So we have to put another dot for C and then join up. And then C followed by D. So we have C, D and C, G. So make another dot for D, join up. And then C join to G. Okay. After D will be E. So another one will be E. Join D to E first. After that, we have D to F. So I'm not going to put my F outside here because I have another FG at the back. So I'm going to put my F in the middle so that I can join DF after that EF and then FG. Okay, then it is done. Next, we are going to look at example 4 on how to draw a graph with multiple edges and loops. Okay, we are given a set of vertices PQR and a set of edges. Okay, so, so to start with it, with the dot of P, and then we can see here P, Q. So we are going to continue with another dot Q and then join it up. After that, P, R, P, R, these are multiple edges. So another dot for R and then join with curve. After that, you look at the fourth one is Q, Q. Q, Q is a loop, so it's going to be a circle and then the last is qr just join q to r okay then it is done okay for the next one example five determine whether a graph with the following degrees of vertices can be drawn can be drawn so if you are given three to two these are the degrees we have to find out whether this graph can be drawn or not remember the uh, sum of the degree for vertices is equal to twice the ages. So when we are going to find out whether the graph can be drawn or not, it must be a even number, which means the ages is equal to the sum of vertices divided by 2. So this part must be an even number, the sum of degree. Okay. Therefore, we are going to find out the sum of degree, which is 3 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 7. 7 is not an even number, therefore we cannot draw the graph. Okay, next one, same thing we are going to look for the sum of degree. It is 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3. So the answer is 10. 10 can be divided by 2. We can get the age of 5. Okay, so 10 divided by 2, we get a 5. Therefore, we can draw the graph because it is even number. Now we are going to look at example 6 that is to draw a simple graph with a given degree of vertices. So we have 2, 3, 2, 3 that is representing the degrees of vertices. To do that, we can represent each of the degree with a letter. So I represent it with A, B, C and D. 
and then I'm going to start with B first because it because it has the highest degree. It's up to you. You also can start with A. Okay. So I'm going to write a dot B and then three line because of three degree one two three and label each of it as A. This is B followed by C and then D. Then I can check for A. I have two degree meaning that I have one which is drawn already and then the second one will be here B like just now we have one two three and then C we have two one is already drawn so another one here D we have three so let's check whether it's correct or not one two three okay then it is correct already okay you have to bear in mind the figure is not always like this it might change according to how you draw it Okay, just you have to make sure that all the uh, degree must be correct. Okay, next we look at example 7. It's the same thing, but we have to draw a graph with loops and multiple edges. Okay, so the degree given is 1, 2, 3. Over here, I'm not going to label as A, B, C anymore because it only involves 3 vertices. So I'm going to start with 3 dots. Okay, the first vertices, the first vertex, have one degree so just draw one line the second vertex has two degrees so one is already drawn then we draw another line down here and then the third vertex we have three degree one is already drawn how to get the other two okay so we remember a loop makes two degree so we just draw a loop and then this will be two plus one it is three okay hope you enjoyed the lesson Thank you for watching. See you again next time.